Hello, this is Ruswan Sai for NRI News. I have with me Mr. Taseem Kunamala. He is the voice of India on the Indian television. So it's a great pleasure to have you with us, Taseem. Uh, my question to you would be that uh, we all were a part of a great happening today. The TSP Alumni Foundation has set up its flagship preschool known as the Wonder World in Pune. This is the first project that we have implemented. And Taseem is definitely known for his uh, comments and his suggestions, the bold ones, I would say. So, uh, Taseem, I would like you to uh, share with us what do you think about disruption in education? Indian education is costly, it is uh, the reach is not reaching out to everyone. We have the right to education, but that also has come into a lot of restrictions. So, what change you feel should come into this? You know, said like you rightly said, the right to education was bought by the previous government because that was a visionary government. Right. That made education a fundamental right. The changes that are being bought by this government will deprive the most needy, the most deserving students of education. And I think that is a very important factor. Education must be universal, not just education, quality education must be universal. Right. And every child in India must get the same opportunity irrespective of his religion, caste or creed, like Mrs. Kochi rightly said. The only difference should be merit, except for merit there should be no other differences. So I hope that institutions like these will provide that platform to all to children from all sections of society to grow up and become good citizens and good human beings. Uh, how, what kind of an importance we give to education? It is the most important tool that a person can have. It is what brings about and more than education, meritocracy is going to be the future. I cannot stop talking about meritocracy. The future of India, the future of the world belongs to meritocracy. Very often when I use the word meritocracy, people ask me what it means. And meritocracy means people who will stand out in their respective field who will be leaders. That is what the world, that is what India is looking at. Education will be the driving change that will change India positively, that will change the world positively. Well, I think since we're talking about education and uh, Tessin is known for his bold statements, we want to have him comment on the recent controversy regarding the education and the certifications which happened over here. So what do you have to say about that? It has rocked the world. It is shameful, shameful that the Prime Minister, his educational qualifications are under cloud and by most means appear dubious. But then again, we know that the Prime Minister did that he was married for the longest time. The fact that he was a child, that he is not a child, while I was revealed through my RTIs, he made that a story, so the Prime Minister makes a story. If the Prime Minister was truly, did have his degrees, the question marks that have been raised on his degrees should have been, uh, should have been sorted out right then and there. He has all the infrastructure with him. Why doesn't he sort out the degree? Why let the question mark hang? Because that sets a bad precedent. He's not just the Prime Minister of BJP, he's my Prime Minister. They're more of my children. My younger generation is going to look after them. Right. It's not important to be educated to be a Prime Minister, but it's important to have, to be honest and put out your true credentials. I think that is very important. But this dubiousness hangs not just on the Prime Minister, but also on his HR ministers will be running. So I think that's very worrisome. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> now, we definitely talked about children in preschool, but again, the children connect to their parents who are incidentally used. So, what do you have to say? to these young parents and the youth of India on educating themselves and acquiring skills. Education is not just about book knowledge. Education right. is about a lot more other factors. It is about sports, it's about arts and crafts, it's about values. Values that make you a nice human being, a better human being. And I think that parents must impart in institutions like this must impart, apart from book knowledge, value education to people so that we can turn up to be better society than we already are. We need to have India 30 years down the line, 30 years down the line, a better India than what it is today. And I think that should be the vision. Right. Now, uh, 2017, we are expecting elections. So, uh, what message you would like to give to the youth of India on casting their votes? Because casting vote has been a very typical situation in India. We have lots of mites about it. So, how do you put it to the youth? And how do you touch their senses so that they vote right and correct? 
there are many there are many uh, elections that are going to take place from 2016 to 2017 right up to 2019 the general general elections and the youth of India will say it is your duty to vote whoever you vote it is your duty to vote but also while voting do research on who's delivered what who simply just makes big stories the promises that can be fulfilled and ask questions of your representatives use social media use other means and ask questions because this is a democracy it gives you the right to question but democracy gives you the right to question but also mandates you not through law but through morally to select the people or elect the people that you want to question so fulfill not just your rights but also your duties okay uh, generally again uh, in india the youth basically are running away from accountability the masses i would say uh, when it comes to accountability, they shy out of it. Uh, deliveries are happening, but accountability people don't want to do it. So, what do you have to say about that, and how can this change when if they adopt accountability, how it will evolve the Indian society? So, the two, the two to make the common man uh, in touch with uh, with what for, to bring in transparency for the common man. Mm -hmm. The previous government brought in the right to information. But that too is being tampered with today by this government. And I'm seeing this with a lot of responsibility. For the longest time, they did not appoint the CIC for the for the RTI. So there is something. So on that level, the government is trying to block transparency. It's a very opaque government. Like I said, the prime minister's degree RTI is not applied to. But every youth must take to whatever means at his or her disposal. By whatever means, I mean not violent means, democratic means. Whether it's the RTI, whether it's social media, whether it's raising their voice, whether it's parallel, whatever means are available within the constitution to question and questioning is the most important thing in the democracy. And okay, lastly, uh, a very interesting fact that people uh, comment on politics, but our youth uh, do not actively participate in the country's <coughs> administration and into politics. It's always been a dharana rule. So, what do you have to say about that? And how can you inspire the youth to be a part of this political process? I think children of India, the young of India must realize that this is their country. They have every right to be a part of the system. They need to be a part of the system. We need more people to come in from diverse backgrounds. And the more there is diversity, the more India will go forward. So I think it is important, obligated, that they come in and be a part of the system. Well, thank you, Tessie. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.